Hello there, my name is Oliver Garrett and welcome to my presentation. Today I have chosen New Balance as my case study to show how a business uses the marketing mix to promote their business and also to generate sales. New Balance is a sport and lifestyle clothing brand selling items of active wear and jumpers, even footballs, water bottles, running shoes, a wide range of products. It was founded in 1906 in the United States of America and it entered the Australian market in 1986. Let's start with uh, promotion. Now, New Balance like to employ a very well-rounded promotional strategy. This means they can leverage their traditional advertising methods such as television and uh, print media, whilst also allows them to engage in digital marketing initiatives uh, through utilizing social media platforms such as Instagram and uh, TikTok. Now, in their latest campaign, We Got Next, they were able to collaborate with a famous rapper in Jack Harlow and a famous basketball player in Kawhi Leonard. And through marketing this through a very modern avenue, such as TikTok, really allowed them to engage with their target audience and uh, really help create brand loyalty and drive sales. In addition to this, New Balance have really capitalized on trends such as uh, a dad shoe becoming really in trend and really uh, produced many alternative styles such as this basketball shoe and this uh, casual jogger you see on screen. Now, New Balance offer a very, very wide range of products from golfing accessories to uh, just your basic running shoe. All their products seem to be quite high quality as they need to combat the, uh, mass the massive brands of uh, Nike and uh, Adidas. And through offering all of these different products, they, they gather a very large target market now, New Balance has uh, introduced a lot of their older products, such as their 550 basketball shoes and their like dad shoes I said previously. This is to uh, combat Nike's most recent success with their Retro Jordan line. Now, in relation to their product life cycle, I would say that they would be reaching a maturity, I'd say, but six months ago, I would say they would be reaching more of a decline in their maturity, but as they've introduced more of these new products and uh, they've marketed them very, very well, I would say that they're reaching more of a growth now. Now, New Balance like to employ a very strategic pricing approach. This is where they can balance their affordability with their quality. And this is very important within the industry that they operate when they're competing with businesses such as Nike and Adidas, as I said previously, where they can produce products at such a low cost and uh, price them at such a high price. Now, this is why they position their products at a competitive price point where they can still be able to turn over and uh, get a profit on their goods. And this also goes along with why they target to such a wide range of customers, especially those that are very value conscious and those that also value uh, fitness and streetwear clothes. Now, lastly, we have place to talk about. Now, New Balance like to take a multi-channel approach to their place, meaning they operate many brick and mortar stores whilst also offering the online purchasing of their items. Now, it is important that they offer these two options as it makes the, uh, it makes the process of buying their products for the consumer as seamless and, and efficient as possible, meaning in turn they can turn over as many products as uh, possible. And through operating in 4,000 retail stores globally in 120 countries, means that customers can go in and try on their products and see if they really get a feel for them. Overall, New Balance like to employ many strategies within the marketing mix to make sure that their business is as successful and as profitable as possible 
Uh, thank you so much for listening to my presentation and uh, have a good one.